Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to make this really cool sticker peel effect. Now I am using CS5 in this video but this could be done with literally any version of Photoshop. It's really simple to do. Now I usually see this effect being used in social media icons. Uh, people usually do this and then add like a Facebook logo, the Twitter logo, MySpace, and even like an RSS feed. And you can make uh, like a whole pack of social media icons and you could use them on your website or wherever else that you want. But obviously that's not the only reason or that's not the only way this could be used. For example, I put uh, the logo for my clothing line onto this icon. And now I could just use this as like a button or something on uh, another website that links to my clothing line's website. So with that being said, let's get started so you guys can make one for yourself. Let's click on File New. And we're going to make a new image with a width of 250 pixels and a height of 250 pixels. And press OK. Now the background is going to be white. We're not going to pay any attention to that because when you actually save this, you're going to get rid of the background and have a transparent background and save it as a PNG. Now we did make this 250 by 250 pixels and that's enormous for an icon uh, but I made it really big on purpose so you could resize it down to a smaller size to any size that you want and then uh, just use it like that. So you have the option of having multiple sizes if you want. So now the first thing that we're gonna do is make a new layer. So let's click on Command Shift N if you're on a Mac or Control Shift N if you're on Windows and just press OK to that. And then we're going to select the elliptical marquee tool. It's usually hidden behind the rectangular marquee tool. So you just want to click and go out and select that. Now we're going to hold down shift to make a perfect circle. And we're just going to click and drag. And that looks good. We're going to center that. And that's looking good. So now I'm going to uh, select the paint bucket tool. And I have this dark red, uh, this burgundy color selected so we could fill that in. Um, the hex code to this is 9C0010. This is one of the colors for the theme for my clothing line. So we're going to fill that in. And then what we want to do is click Command D or Control D to deselect. Now we're going to select this tool right here, the polygonal lasso tool. This one's usually hidden behind the normal lasso tool. So just click out and select that. And what we want to do is just select a little corner of it like so. And what we're going to do is uh, click Command X or Control X if you're on Windows, and that's going to cut that out. And then we're going to make a new layer. So Command Shift N, press OK, and then we're going to paste Command V. So now we have this slice and we have the circle. So let's get the main circle done first. We're going to double click on that main circle layer and add a greeny overlay. We want the angle to be about 36% or negative 36%. And we're going to choose this gradient on one side. I'm going to have this uh, burgundy color. And on the other side, we're going to just select a lighter version of that burgundy color. And that looks pretty good. The hex code for the color that I selected is CE0015. And just press OK to that. OK and OK. So now what we want to do is uh, work on that little snippet that's going to be the curve of the sticker. So we're going to click on that layer, press Command T or Control T if you're on Windows, right click within that square and click rotate 180 degrees and just press enter. Now we want to select the paint bucket tool, select white for the color and just make sure that this is white. Select the pointer tool and uh, bring that to the corner and just align that like so. That's looking good. Now what we want to do is double click on that layer and we want to add a gradient overlay to that. We're going to have the angle uh, about 30, I believe we did 36%, uh, just wherever 34%, wherever in the 30s, that's good. And for the gradient, we're going to reverse it. So it goes from black to white and we're going to bring the opacity down to about 30% and the scale down to just about 20 25 percent and press ok and that's it we're done now we could add any logo that we want within the circle and just make our cool little icon that's it for this video tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it until next time this is octotoots.com and i'll see you guys later